Hello everybody, I'm Lal. Welcome back to Sustainable Jungle where we share sustainability tips, tricks, hacks, products, brands and stories to better our planet. Let's talk about PVA. It has been a hot mess of a topic for a while now and we've delved into the pros and the cons and the nuances of this material on SJ. Maybe you've heard of it in relation to food packaging, medical applications, paper coating, adhesives, personal care products, dish soap like these little jobbies with a little plastic looking like covering or laundry detergent pods or sheets like these bad boys. There are plenty of brands that use this little additive in their products and then market them as eco-friendly or biodegradable. So what is it? What are its drawbacks and environmental concerns? Is it all greenwashing and are there any alternatives? Those are good questions. Let's get into this. So PVA or polyvinyl alcohol, also known as PVOH or PVAL, is a synthetic polymer. In other words, it's a man-made material with a variety of applications, as mentioned, from packaging to pods. It was first commercialized, believe it or not, back in the 1920s by a Japanese manufacturer for pesticide packaging. Mm. Due to its water solubility, in other words, its ability to dissolve and protective qualities. Now, PVA is made from polymerized ethylene, which is then transformed into polyvinyl acetate and finally dissolved into ethanol or methanol to create polyvinyl alcohol. High school chemistry class coming back to you? Me neither. Now, this process yields a strong, flexible, and quote, biodegradable, I keep coming back to this, material resistant to grease, solvents, and oil, making it suitable for all those handy personal care uses. It is considered sustainable or rather marketed as sustainable because of that biodegradability and its excellent, excellent, excellent oxygen barrier properties which say prevent uh, food spoilage. While PVA is generally recognized as safe for consumption by the FDA and receives a low hazard score from the Environmental Working Group, which is actually to say nothing about how palatable the thought of ingesting microplastics will actually be, I'll circle back to that in a sec, its environmental friendliness is a complex issue. Back to chem class. PVA is derived from petrochemicals, making it technically plastic. So while PVA dissolves into water and microbes, it actually becomes a monomer, in other words, a very small molecule that likely takes a very, very long time to fully degrade. And it is this slow degradation process that raises concerns about PVA's potential to harm marine life and contribute to plastic pollution, other microplastics, as evidenced by its presence in the stomachs of deep sea creatures. How did it get there? Now studies do show granted mixed messages about PVA's biodegrad biodegradability with some fun by eco-friendly aligned companies highlighting that wastewater treatment plants are just not equipped to degrade PVA properly. You need the right conditions with the right microorganisms and enzymes. And some of those comp companies have even gone as far as petitioning the EPA to define PVA as a toxic substance. Because of a significant amount of PVA residue which does enter the environment absorbing heavy metals and pesticides which harms aquatic species clearly and crops and that of course simplistically ends up on our menu. How about a side of monomers with that salmon? It's not a pretty picture, I know. But, as is often the case with sustainability, which makes it so fun and easy, it's not all black and white. No, no, it's so gray. It's so gray. Now, I wanna pose a question to you. What is more environmentally friendly? Or should I say, which of these are more environmentally damaging? This or this? That should be a rhetorical question. Anyway, PVA is far from the solution we need. It has major drawbacks. And while we have some studies which probably don't actually fully know the extent to which it is harming our environment or us over the long term, it might be worse. But the general consensus, at least from industry, some universities like Michigan State and a bunch of research papers, which I'll link to below, opine that it is indeed the lesser of two evils by a long way. And I'm talking here specifically about products like these, like laundry detergent jugs versus strips, pods, and those kind of things. The carbon footprint and environmental toll from an extraction to production to packaging to shipping to consumption to end of life standpoint is much worse for these than it is for these. So if you had to choose between the two, this one is a better, less environmentally harmful option by a long shot. Okay, so what about PVA alternatives? Well, PVA derived from bio-based sources like plant starches and not petrochemicals is currently in development, but it is early days, so 
watch this space. Otherwise, you can go bulk or zero waste. There are a bunch of fantastic online bulk stores and zero waste stores that offer all your personal cleaning needs, sans plastic packaging and PVA. I'll pop a link below to some of our favorites, but just to give you a flavor, Zero Co are really great. They're Australian based though. ET are fantastic. They're US based. They have these little compostable packages. Uh, there's also Blue Land and uh, Superbee. In fact, these all do a really great workaround job and have a very decent selection of home cleaning solutions and refills. And I'll also pop a link below to a list of local bulk and zero waste stores where you can BYO and fill up on whatever you need. Not as convenient as online, I know, but hey, you'll be shave saving shaving those uh, shipping emissions. And FYI, we are slowly covering each city across all the states. I'll also link to a bunch of Australia-based stores and to Pebblebank, which is another great resource and also has some handy suggestions for local sustainable shopping in the UK. And as for the rest of the world, we're working on it. We're working on it. And that's it. So in summary, PVA-based products are, in our opinion, a better option than conventional plastics all day long. They're far from perfect. We'd always recommend local bulk first and then on other online refill services but it is a step in the right direction. If it means more people choose PVA-based products over traditional plastic-based products, then on balance, I think we're moving in the right direction. Progress over perfection, kids. I'll link to all the resources I mentioned below and our specific deep dive on this topic. And I would love to know your thoughts on this PVA yay or PVA nay. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to, forget to hit that like button, subscribe button, all the buttons, you know, if sustainable living is your thing. I'm Lal from Sustainable Jungle. Much love. And mm, high school chemistry class had its moments. It was okay.